Tommy Coyne helped him beat offside and go on to finish like a seasoned striker. It was clearly going to be Celtic's day. Steve Fulton, Tony Cascarino and Charlie Nicholas provide the build-up. Tommy Coyne provides the finish. Celtic two up. Ten minutes later, Nicholas sends Cascarino on a run. And guess who's waiting in the middle? Yes, it's two for Coyne and three for Celtic. Five minutes into the second half, Celtic were four up. Gillespie starts the move, his pass beating the Falkirk offside trap, Grant's run and cross, and John Collins scores his third goal of the season. And with only a couple of minutes left, Falkirk finally scored their consolation goal. Kevin McAllister battling with White and Rogan before substitute Crawford Baptist gets his chance. player Alex Matthey started the move, sending Derek McInnes off on the goal trail. An excellent finish, prompting tremendous celebrations. This John Collins shot hitting the post. And Charlie Nicholas ready for the rebound. That late challenge by defender Mark Pickering spoiled Charlie's celebrations. Celtic's second was set up by Steve Fulton, and scored by Jerry Craney. The Fulton-Craney combination also provided the third. A fortunate defender's deflection on the way, but no question about the finish. So Celtic 3-1 up. They went further ahead before half-time, this goal demonstrating how Charlie Nicholas is as sharp as ever. In the second half, with just 10 minutes of the game left, one of Morton's new boys, Graham Ogg, pulled one back. Aries Dovchek and Derek White. The layoff to David Sinclair and the perfect finish from McKenzie. One of the goal heroes from last week's triumph over Motherwell. A few minutes later, Craney's run and shot forced a marvellous save from Gordon Arthur. But Joe Miller was ready to score from the most acute of angles. And Celtic finally went ahead midway through the second half. Galloway to Morris. And despite claims to the goal by both Walker and Craney, it was in fact an own goal by Jimmy Nichol. The replay shows Walker's touch was enough to move the ball onto Nichol's left thigh and into the net. Three minutes later, Celtic were two ahead. Craney and Miller start the move, and a brilliant piece of work from Andy Walker sets up Fulton for the goal he's been waiting for. And doesn't that show?